Hi, I'm Joe from QTech, and today I'm going to take you through setting up your brand new QT290 airless pump. So first of all, we're going to go through what you get in the box. Obviously, you get your pump, a T360 Tritec airless gun, 15 meters of hose, a bottle of q lube for pump maintenance, a manifold spanner, a pack and nut spanner, two spanners for your fittings, most importantly, you get your instruction guide and also a paint film thickness gauge, but this will come in use at a later date. So, let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to attach the hose to the front end of the machine. So we'll remove this black cap here and we'll take this end of the hose and screw this all the way out into this hand tight. Then take one of our 19mm spanners and just nip that so that it's tight. We then need to take our gun from the box and screw this onto the other end of the hose. Again, until it's hand tight. And at this point, we then need to use both of our spanners, like so, and just nip them tight. That's now the machine set up with the hose, and we're now ready to introduce this into water. So we're now ready to introduce the machine into some water for its first rinse through. So we'll just tip the machine back, place it into a bucket of water. This water is diluted with 200 millilitres of Q-Tector with four litres of water. And what we're gonna do is we're just about to pump this through with water to remove all of the oils from inside the machine. So let's get on with that. So now that the uh, machine is in the water, we're going to turn it on. So we'll lift the prime valve to the upright position. This is going to lift it up this tube and out of this tube. We're then going to turn the machine on and rotate the dial until the pump just slowly engages. And what we're waiting for is blue fluid to start passing out of this bottom tube. Like so. So now that the manifold end is uh, primed through with fluid, we're going to do the same with the hose. So what we're going to do is just remove the guard off the gun by unscrewing it. We're then going to take the safety trigger off the gun, pull the trigger, put your prime valve down into the spray position, and again, we're just going to turn the pump on until we get fluid passing out of the gun. Now stop. So now the uh, machine is fully primed with water, that is the setup complete. So at this point you are now ready to swap the water out for the paint of your choice and you're then ready to get spraying. 